What's cooking everybody? Dave Altizer here with Kino Tika and behind my back I have something you've never seen before. It's a mirrorless camera that's full frame from Canon. Just kidding, it's an M50 with a speed booster on it. One of the great things about the Canon mirrorless system is that it uses a brand new mount from Canon. It's the EFM mount. What that brings is a much shorter flange distance. If you're not sure what a flange distance is, basically it's the distance from the lens mount to the sensor. On EF DSLRs from Canon, there's a huge gap in between where the sensor is and where the lens mounts. And that's because it usually housed a giant mirror that would flip up and down. With mirrorless cameras from Sony, Panasonic, Fuji, we've seen these really short flange distances and it's great because it allows you to put all sorts of different adapters on your cameras. What makes the EFM system great is not only the ability to use EFM lenses, which are those super tiny mirrorless lenses, but by using an adapter, you can use standard EF lenses and still get all the same benefits that you get on a normal camera with the dual pixel from Canon. This is the official Canon adapter that goes from EFM to EF, and it basically is just a nothing adapter. It's got electronics through it, so you can change your aperture, focus automatically with it, and it works great. But as you can see, there's nothing in here. It's just, it's nothing, it's just an adapter. Well, with the EFM line and a speed booster, it completely changes everything. Once you adapt a speed booster like this custom one that we found on eBay, by the way, unfortunately you can't really buy these. They're not really out there to the public yet. Once you get a speed booster, it effectively turns the sensor size into full frame. How does it work? I don't know, it's kind of magical. Basically, there's a lens in front of your lens. It's a wide angle lens that's projecting all of the lens onto the sensor and compressing it down. It's really confusing, but I'll put up a chart. Here's a chart, that's how it works. Uh, basically, multiply whatever it says on the adapter with the crop factor of your camera. The crop factor of this camera is 1.6. This speed booster is 0.71. If you multiply 0.71 by 1.6, it becomes roughly 1.1x crop compared to full frame. Full frame is 1x. So, all that to say, we effectively have a full frame camera for $700 plus a $300 adapter that shoots 4K, yeah! has focus peaking, a flip out screen, and dual pixel autofocus. There's nothing like it on the market right now because Canon has nothing at all in the full frame line for mirrorless. And in a weird way, this is kind of the only way to get a full frame mirrorless camera from Canon. We're gonna break this video up into two sections reviewing the speed booster on the M50. This first section that you're about to see is the stills portion. The second section will be about video. So if you want to skip ahead to video, if you're a videographer, go ahead. Link will be in the description on the time code there. For stills, like I said before, because this is a 0.71X uh, additional crop to the crop, it's hard to explain. It basically makes this full frame. It's a 1.1X crop so this 50 millimeter lens becomes roughly a 55 millimeter lens so for the most part your lenses are going to perform the way you expect them to perform using this adapter the autofocus is something that i've tested on this and honestly because this adapter with the speed booster is custom made it's actually using the exact same electronics that are made on these standard adapters this is a standard canon adapter so the autofocus performance is fantastic. It performs just like any other Canon camera would, except you get that speed booster. So let's do some tests using the speed booster and the standard adapter with all these EF lenses. I've also got the 1DX. Uh, it's shooting me right now. It's actually 1DC, but it's the same thing. That's a full frame stills camera from Canon. We'll test all three of those images, the 1DX image, the full frame image, the speed boostered, image on the M50 and then the just standard APS-C image straight out of the M50. So let's do some tests. By the way, it's really windy right now. So if you hear some wind, it's windy. 
The stills application with the speed booster is of course amazing. You get the ability to use your full frame lenses and open that aperture up all the way, get that crazy depth of field. The autofocus works just the same and it's awesome. But with video on this camera in particular, using this speed booster gets really interesting. With this speed booster on this camera, we finally have the first 4K full frame mirrorless camera. Except not really, because it's not really full frame when you shoot 4K, but when you don't shoot 4K, it's full frame. And Canon is supposed to do a full frame mirrorless camera soon that'll shoot 4K. So I don't know. This camera does shoot 1080 and it shoots 4K. It also can shoot 120 frames per second. Like I've said before, we're gonna be doing an official video review on this later on this channel. Essentially with the speed booster on the M50, we finally have a full frame mirrorless video camera from Canon that has focus peaking and can do 4K. The dual pixel autofocus in the full frame or just the 1080p mode looks great. You can go up to 60 frames per second in 1080p and get that dual pixel autofocus using the speed booster and full frame lenses. But what makes this adapter so great on this camera is with the 4K mode in particular. On this camera, when you shoot 4K, the crop is just tremendous. You have a 2.5X crop essentially from full frame when you're shooting 4K. Super 35, which is kind of the industry standard, is like a 1.5X crop, which is APS-C for the most part. And when you're shooting 4K on this camera, it's just a pain in the butt. Even an amazing lens like this, the 18 to 35, becomes more of a medium to telephoto lens. As soon as you slap this speed booster on here, it completely changes that. And in my opinion, the speed booster with this camera shooting 4K fixes this camera and makes it a viable camera for shooting 4K. With that speed booster shooting 4K, we're roughly at the Super 35 sensor size that you're used to on all cinema cameras which makes this the perfect B or C camera to a cinema camera from Canon, like the C300 or the C200 or the C100. It's really amazing that this camera also has focus peaking. Like I said before, the autofocus when you're shooting 4K is awful. So if you switch to manual focus, you need that focus peaking. All other Canon cameras don't give you that, but this camera does give it to you. So in a weird accidental way, Canon made a really good 4K video camera with the M50, if you buy the speed booster. And once again, guys, I need to remind you, this is a custom mount that I got off eBay. There are not many of these made. If you happen to snag one, good for you. I'm just showing you what is possible in the future if Metabones makes one of these, and I think they will. This is just too good to be true with the speed booster, especially shooting 4K. In conclusion, using a speed booster on the M50 really solves a lot of the problems with it. In 1080p mode and stills, you get full frame, and with 4K, you get a perfect Super 35 sensor size equivalent. I hope that more of these speed boosters come out. I hope Metabones makes one, because it'll be really nice. If you guys happen to snag one up on eBay, good for you. If you guys aren't following us on Instagram, make sure to follow us at Kinatika TV. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, do it now. Please, please, please subscribe. Once again, I'm Dev Altizer. This is Kinatika. Good luck finding one of these.